Hi class, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to create a document and then how to store that document inside of a folder. In order to do so, I am going to first go to my start button and click and I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. I can either open it up here or I can go to all programs, find the Microsoft Office folder which is here then click on Microsoft Word 2010. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Word 2010. Now I'm going to start to create the folder and I'm just going to type a simple sentence like uh, let's say for example hello and welcome to CIS 110. Thanks for coming. Now, I've created my document in Microsoft Word, and so now I want to save the document. So I'm going to go to my File tab. Then I'm going to come down to Save As and click. I want to locate where I'm going to save this document, and I can either save it to my desktop or I have other various locations where I can save this document or I could also save it to my flash drive. Since I'm not using my flash drive today, I am going to click on the desktop, and then I'm going to give this document a name by taking out the file name that's there, and I'm gonna call it Hello Message. Then I'm going to click Save. Now I can go ahead on and close out this document and you will notice on my desktop right here is the document that I just created in Microsoft Word. Now I want to take that document and I want to store it in a folder. Well, since this is going to be the only document I want to store in a folder, what I can do is I can come here and right click on my desktop, then come down to New and click and then select folder. Once I've created the new folder, I can then give the folder a name. I'm going to call this one Hello Message. Press enter and now my folder now has a name. The next thing I want to do is I can come up here to the uh, document I just created, hold down my left mouse button and then click and drag to the folder release my mouse button and now my document has been placed inside of the folder in order to make sure that the document is there I can double click it to open up the folder and as you can see here there is the document I just created now I'm going to close out this window and I want to now zip this folder that I just stored my message in or my document in. In order to zip that folder I want to right click it using my left using my right mouse button then come down to send to and click and then come over to compress zip folder left click and now as you can see, I have a folder that is zipped that is called Hello Message. I could have also did something like this. I'm going to open up the folder, take the Hello Message, left click on it, and drag it to the outside of the folder, close this window, and you will see I now have the document here on my desktop. So now what I want to do is I could also right click on this document if it's the only document that I'm going to store in a folder. I can right click on the document, come to send to, click, and then select compress zip folder. And when I select Compress Zip Folder, it then creates another zip folder with that document on the inside of it. 
Now if I double click on the zip folder, there's the hello message. I'm going to close out this window. Now, you might wonder why it says hello message 2. That is because I already have a zip folder that was titled hello message, which is right here. So it assigns a number 2 to the file name indicating, I'm sorry, indicating that this is the same folder, but it's the second folder with the same name. I hope you have uh, learned a lot from this video tutorial. If you should have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.